Report to you live here from the hospital to watch the 2024 Copa America Finals during my break. It's live from last week, episode 186. Let's go! Woo! Welcome here, my fellow tree walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So today, waking up early to drive the wife to her day shift downtown. I chilled at the condo all day before playing Uber driver to Tita Mone. Then taking the wife post shift to go and see Royce and Liza to hand over her pocket Wi-Fi to these soon-to-be travelers. Have fun in Japan, guys. See you when you get back. Oh, wait, is there a video? <laughs> Before heading to the Saga House for a little bit to catch the Copa America semi-final game between Argentina and our Canadian men's national team. But guys, unfortunately, after a valiant effort, the defending World Cup champs defeated our boys by the score of two to nothing. Anyways, afterwards, we then made our way to Pearson International Airport to drop off the in-laws for their trip back home to the Philippines. Safe trip, guys. Before coincidentally seeing this guy for the first time since we saw him off several months ago, being here to pick up the one and only Tito Eddie from his own trip back home to the Philippines. Yay, Tito Eddie! Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Welcome! After welcoming Tito Eddie back home to Canada at Pearson, Go oh, greet your husband! And getting a pick with this YYZ sign. One, two, three. Okay. We did the tradition that we do every time we come home from the airport and went to the one, the only perfect Chinese restaurant. Okay, cheers. What are you doing? <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> to have this feast of dim sum. This is so hot. <laughs> Definitely looking at the menu and ordering way more than we should have. And selecting this beautiful fortune from my fortune cookie, surrounded by my loved ones. But yeah, after coming back home and sleeping for almost six hours, I stayed in for most of the day just editing videos while watching in the background some nature documentaries about mainly baby sharks before something had caught my eye earlier this evening. Spontaneously looking at the Ticketmaster website and seeing that tickets were going for this much at a local concert, I checked my buddy Jagger's Comma Tickets website to see that the exact same tickets were going for around $15 per ticket. So, taking advantage of this, I left to go to a music venue that I've always wanted to go to ever since I dropped off the wife to go to concerts here several times in the past, ending up here in the beaches at History to see the musical artist Jelly Roll.
entertaining concert last night. Having more fun than I thought I would have. Considering beforehand I didn't know a single Jelly Roll song. I learned that Jelly Roll put on a great show with his influences in country and rap music. There was also a special surprise guest at this concert. Singer AJ McLean from the Backstreet Boys who had the whole music venue singing along with him to this 90s classic. But now, on to today being July 11th, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends out there who organizes games and who I've played alongside with in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Eric. Happy birthday, Eric. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Now also on July 11th, I just wanted to greet everybody a happy 7-Eleven Day. Happy 7-Eleven Day, guys! And on that note, recalling what I did on this exact day last year, going on a nice little downtown adventure. In honor of that, I got on the TTC subway earlier this morning to head downtown before my night shift tonight to take advantage of 7-Eleven's free Slurpee promotion today and continue the tradition of hitting up seven 7-Elevens and downing seven Slurpees for 7-Eleven Day. to yesterday while I went downtown going to seven different locations of 7-Elevens on 7-Eleven Day and taking in seven different flavors of Slurpees on my journey. I had this proud collection of cups that I collected serving as my trophy. I had also achieved the goal of reaching 10,000 steps during my walk. Having, after ingesting all that sugar, a resting heart rate on the TTC like this. And this measurement after having my seventh Slurpee, that was definitely tachycardic. And guys, honestly, my physical symptoms that were showing made me look back to this scene from a couple weeks back. And now I'm pretty sure I have diabetes. I even ran into a couple of friends during my adventure, which included my former co-worker Sydney near the well, and this special guest who I haven't seen since his FSAT days during Super Skills. Yo, walking around on 7-Eleven Day on Dundas Street West, I run into this guy. Yo, what's good? Long yo. time no see. <laughs> no, 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 it's mine, it's mine, yo. I want some 7-Eleven too, yo. It's good to see you. Good to see you, man. Hey. It was great running into you, Patrick. And we will definitely make time in the future 
to collab on something soon. Anyways, on a day after I got 17 and a half thousand steps in before my night shift, I had achieved yet another Duolingo milestone, obtaining a 2600 day Duolingo streak. I had decided on my commute home to do for the first time in what already has been over two years, do a surprise pickup of the wife from her morning Pilates class along the Danforth. Surprise! <laughs> and after going home to get a measly less than two hours of sleep, I woke up to show the wife my latest live from last week episode. And this scene where I revealed to her my latest Facebook Marketplace purchase. My hair. Glad you got your haircut. That outfit. New haircut is new. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> But yeah guys, just chilling today on a single day off, enjoying the beautiful rain while the sun goes down and sets this evening. We'll just quickly do a birthday greeting to one of my friends who I remembered loved this wrestler when we were younger and who I shouted out to him earlier last year. With this birthday shout out, going out to you, Tanner. Happy birthday, Tanner. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to another friend of mine who was athletically gifted enough to be talented in both the sports of basketball and soccer. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Monique. Happy birthday, Monique. I'm hoping that everybody who has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So today, catching up on a little bit of sleep after not getting a lot of sleep yesterday, I got up before the wife to start cooking her some food for when she woke up this morning, which had included an omelet as well as some delicious chicken wings. Then went on to edit videos pretty much all day at home. Resting before I go in for my second shift in three nights later on tonight. But first, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends out there who I remember last playing with several summers ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Joseph. Happy birthday, Joseph. I'm hoping that everybody who has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. This morning, after having a stressful but manageable shift last night, the wife and I headed to St. Michael's Cathedral for Sunday morning Catholic Mass, where I had looked at the parish bulletin and saw this as a sign for me to get some pizza today. So after arriving home and getting a decent post-night shift nap, and seeing that today is the last day of their promo, for the first time in a little bit, I was an Uber driver to go and get us some Domino's. And so now watching the 2024 Euro finals between Spain and England. Oh, right there. I like your commentary. <laughs> so enthusiastic. Ha ha ha, go football. Before I go in for my third shift in the span of four nights, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my buddies out there who is a bubble tea connoisseur, especially at the times that he comes and visits us here in Scarborough. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andrew. Happy birthday, Andrew. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So last night during my dinner break at work, in the lunchroom, I was able to catch some of the action from the 2024 Copa America final between the teams of Argentina and Colombia, where it was an entertaining game pretty much going back and forth until I saw Argentina seal the championship. 
winning the game 1-0 on this beautiful goal by the Argentinians. But yeah, on to today where I'm just staying in all day editing live from last week videos and definitely feeling the effects of the lack of sleep that I had earlier in my post night shift nap. We're just gonna use today as a recovery day. And we'll wrap up this week's Laugh From Last Week episode right here. But quickly doing a birthday greeting before we wrap it up for this week. With this birthday shout out going out to one of the biggest Jay Walker POV fans out there. Whose clothing line has made several cameos in previous videos in the past. And who has also made appearances on this show from time to time to time. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Eduave. Happy birthday, Justin. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah, guys, let's go back and finish today's segment. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.